Social media users have continued to decry how a lady reportedly died after being mistakenly stabbed by a friend, a female friend, during a physical fight. Now, reports say that it happened in Dubai, but they're Nigerians. In a very disturbing video, two ladies could be seen fighting and dragging a knife between themselves. One of them cut the other's right hand and blood started gushing out from the wound. It was a very, very disturbing scene. The bleeding continued for some time while the rest of their fa uh, female friends at the scene looked on and recorded the situation without taking action to save the wounded girl's life. Now, the video has continued to stir reactions from social media users, with many people saying that that girl's death would have been avoided. Now, netizens blamed the onlookers for merely recording the situation without promptly attempting to provide first aid to the wounded lady. That's the same thing we talked about, uh, you know, earlier on about the craze for social media content creation. And uh, some people said that they would have easily avoided the death by tying the wound to stop the bleeding and then quickly finding a way to take her to the hospital. Now, this has once again raised the conversation of basic survival skills or first aid knowledge. Let's not even get into the whole talk of recording someone bleed to death. Now, something similar to what we said earlier about, of course, the craze of content creation. But let's talk about how that girl's life could have been saved. Anyways, joining us to have this conversation is the one and the only health attainer. John Rose. <laughs> John Rose, indeed. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Yeah. Kelechi, for joining us, a.k.a. Dr. Kells, a.k.a. AKA. You have a lot of a.k.a.s. Yeah, I have a lot of a.k.a.s, but let's just stick with the health detainer. I love now. it. I love it. <laughs> but anyways, before we come to the uh, to the conversation, I would like for us to take a look at what tweets are saying about this issue. So we'll take a look at some Twitter reactions to the issue. Now, the first person, Kunle Kenny, says, I've always made noise on this app about learning to give basic first aid. Why are you an adult and cannot give uh, anybody, apologies, my eyes, cannot give basic first aid? Why? Why should you be able to handle a smartphone and not be able to administer first aid? Learn it. And then he points directly at you. Now, a reason why we need to infuse basic resuscitation skills and first aid in everybody, not only healthcare workers, from schools, employment, religious institutions, clubs, supermarkets, public gatherings, we get the point. She could have survived with basic first aid on route hospital transport. That's uh, the bearded Dr. Shino. Another person says, I think doctors and healthcare workers should start teaching their friends, their families, and neighbors the basic first aid. It could be anyone, literally it could be anyone. Well, um, another person says, this is very sad. Wait, I do not understand. None of those ladies could use a cloth to tie and occlude that bleeder temporarily until she gets to a hospital. No first aid sense. Why do we lack basic skills like this in this country? Zero education, heck, zero common sense. Just quality makeup, expensive wigs. Okay, that's a shade. That's a shade. That's a shade. <laughs> These are the issues. <laughs> well, but uh, back to you, Dr. Kells, uh, health attainer. I mean, that last one was throwing a shade at a particular agenda. But anyways, uh, we get the point. Well, uh, let me just say something about that. We can have all of that and still have basic, you know, first aid skills. So it's not like you're taking away all the expensive wigs and the good looks and replacing it with first aid skills, yeah. both of them can go together. So no shades, please. Thank you. <laughs> I know. But, but what, what do you think about the entire situation? OK, first of all, the entire situation was very tiring because um, not just the health aspect, right? Just being around, you know, just being around people who do not have basic, you know, um, first aid skills, yeah. and then just basic friendship skills. Mm -hmm. Like you are in a room with your friends, because I don't see how you'll be living with people that are not your yeah. friends. And even if they're not your friends, they're your community. And something like that like is happening. Like what could have even happened happen. that would lead okay. to that? Okay, so there's a fight. You didn't stop the fight. They didn't stop the fight. Beyond the fight, there's um, use of you know, um, harmful objects. Nobody's yeah. taking the harmful objects away. And then the people are just recording and escalating the whole issue. So. At all levels, that scenario was just, wrong. you know, was wrong, off, off, yeah. off, 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 all wrong, yeah. 
So in that situation, um, Dr. Kells, what exactly should have been done? Because I've read so many things since it happened. You know, someone has said they should have tied the hand, and now I said, hold the, this one, pack the blood. I've seen so many things. But what should have been done? What's the, what's the proper thing that should have been okay, done? Okay, so in that kind of scenario or any emergency scenario like that, but let's talk about this one. First of all, call for help. While you are calling for that help, you're also doing something to salvage the situation at that moment. For a court like that, the first thing that should be done is to apply pressure on the wound. I saw the video, it felt like it was like a jagged you know, knife and all of that. So it is, it's going to have caused a lot of damage, not just to the blood vessels, to the tissues, you know, to the surrounding muscles. So at that time, the first thing you should do is to apply pressure. The routine thing or the good thing to have done was to use a you know, sterile gauze, but of course we don't have a sterile gauze there yeah. or a bandage. So whatever you can find, hopefully it is clean clothes, yeah. but please just keep applying pressure to that point. Okay, yeah, people say tie, but I don't want to use the word tie because if you say tie, you're, somebody can just go tie one cloth there and say they've tied something. Apply pressure with a lot of clothes so that you can stop the bleeding. So, uh, talking about tying, uh, sorry, okay. sorry to interrupt you. I, I also saw something where someone was saying that um, you know learning to use a 20k. Okay. I think that's what it is. And um, th there's been a, a bit of dispute about the use of 20k. Some say that you tie it above. Some say you tie it on the wound. Some say you don't tie it at all. Okay. So, so what exactly in this do? situation yeah. and in a lot of situations, tying a 20k is not the first thing to do. It's the last thing to do if applying pressure doesn't stop the wound. Mm. Be before tying the tonic, really, you still have to apply that pressure. And then when the bleeding stops, you try to clean and then prepare the person while you wait for emergency help to, to come. Like yeah. maybe you've called an ambulance or you've, you, you're taking the person to the nearest hospital or the nearest pharmacy, right? So, but tonic is the last thing to do because beyond just tying it, the tonic, a lot of people don't even know how to tie tonics, right? Yeah. Tonic means anything that you tie, you know, to um, occlude to stop blood flow um, to a particular part of the body. So if you tie a tonic here, for example, the wound happened here, mm -hmm. if you tie a tonic here, it should be tied above, you know, the, um, the joint where it has happened, but not on the joint, right? Mm -hmm. So if you tie, if that's your first resort tying, and you tie too tight, you're also putting the person in danger because tying a tonic for too long, for example, it's going to get you, it's going to take you like one hour or 30 minutes or two hours to it's get help. Hospital. If you tie for too long and too tight, you, you might stop the blood flow to the upper part of the body, right? And right. then there is a risk of, you know, reperfusion injury because when that leaves, you might have damaged the blood vessels and that part of the limb above, okay? Yeah. So that's why that's the last resort. Tonic. Man, if it's, um, if it's, for example, a snake bite, mm -hmm. of course, a tonic would suffice at that time. But for a gaping wound, a wound that is open, your first point of call is to apply pressure, pressure. a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure with a lot of clothes. Don't mm -hmm. remove, just keep adding, adding until you're able to control, you know, bleeding. Um, the bleeding. Also, another thing that helps is elevating the hand, okay? Because you're trying to elevate above the heart. So by the time you elevate, the blood flow can go, okay. yeah. So elevating the hand also helps. And also calming the person. I saw that video. The person who has the injury is still, you know, jumping all over really the place. Chaotic. And yes, it was really chaotic. And nobody's trying to calm her. Nobody's trying to keep her still. You need to keep that person still, raise the person's hand, you know, apply the pressure while you're calling for help. I, I don't understand the, you know, recording craze, really. The first thing you should do, the first thing you should not do is not record. Okay, I get that people want to record for everything. I don't know what it is, but I mean, when there's an emergency situation, that's not the first thing anybody, yeah. and there are a lot of people in that room. So let's say one person is that recording. would have been able to help. What's the other person doing? You could use your phone if you do not even know how to apply first aid. That same phone you're using to record, why don't you just Google how to stop a bleeding injury? I did right? hear I did hear one of the ladies say something like, um, go and tie that hand or go and cover, something like that. But again, it was uncertain and then yeah. there was so much chaos going on. They should have just tried. Even if you're not, at least do something, be seen to have done something. Nobody did anything in that room. 
All right, uh, Dr. Kleji, you know what we're going to do, right? <laughs> okay. It's not going to happen to me, but let's just say this is the hand okay. that it happened to. I want you to practicalize it and show us what you're talking about. Okay, it could happen to you. It could happen to anybody. Yeah, but it's not happened to me. It's not happened to me. <laughs> Nigeria, yes, of course, of course. Right, so um, we don't have any clothes. So this is this is the hand. You have a cut oh, here. <laughs> you have a cut here. I don't. The first thing anybody should do, yeah. should, you know, Oh, you should you should use you should use clean hands, but at that time there's a lot of chaos, yeah. right? So just use get something, take your clothes off. I mean we okay, but just get you know a cloth and keep applying pressure, keep applying I hope pressure they can and adding more. Pressure. Okay. Hopefully <laughs> keep 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 applying, keep applying, okay, because um the, the um was the was the pressure from a lot of clothes. The the cloth is soaking soaking up the blood. But doesn't that mean still mean that you're losing blood? Does it stop you from losing no, blood? No, it doesn't stop you from losing blood. Okay. But if you do that effectively enough, you would stop the blood from from okay. losing more blood. Okay. And remember, this is just first aid. Yeah. You still have to take the person to a hospital, to a, pharm in a, a community pharmacist. But that's just what you can do at that moment. But they let that young girl bleed out. So talking about the tonique, right? It um, is usually applied when this has failed. Okay. okay, or it is so severe. But imagine if you if you just focus on just tying the tonic and leaving this, you know, just flowing up. So it's, it's not going to be so effective. So do this while you're doing this. If this is not working, so if you see that you're still losing blood, yes, okay, and then you can apply the tonic. But please do not apply it so, you know, so tight, tight and for too long because you'll be causing extra damage to the person. Remember when right. you want to take, when you go to the hospital and blood is to be taken from you, just you, you see I how painful yeah. and how inconveniencing it is. You know how it is. You, you literally do not feel, you know, your skin or you don't feel anything above, above where it is tied. Yeah. It, it feels numb. Numb, yeah, that's the word. So imagine having to be like that for two hours, three hours. So if you're applying the tonic, make sure that your next point of call is to a medical uh, facility so, so that the, it can the, be um, managed properly. Right. So for the elevation you speak of, right, mm -hmm. is it before, during, or after you apply or you tie the tourniquet that you raise the hand? Oh, this is it's not step by step. Well, you're doing you're it like, everything yes, together. you're just doing it. Yeah. But make okay. sure the person is still. Very important. There's so much chaos in that video. Sit the person down. Make sure the person is still, you know, elevate, and then Apply that pressure, okay. elevate, elevate above the heart, okay? So those are things that would help at that time. And whilst above you're doing the heart, that... Not just raising the hand. Yeah, above okay. the heart. And whilst right. that is happening, call for help. In fact, call for help, start your, um, your uh, intervention, your little intervention. Keep calling for help until help comes or until you take the person to help. Right. Yes. There's so many people in, the, in, in that video. But none of that happened. Nothing happened. I mean, first of all, thank you for treating me, Dr. Kelly. <laughs> I appreciate that. But also, um, do you think that there is enough? Because all these things you're saying, honestly speaking, mm -hmm. I and a lot of other people, let me not exclude myself, had no idea, right? I mean, of course, there was the, okay, fine, tie it. But where to tie it, we don't know. How to tie it, we don't know. So do you think that people have enough knowledge of first aid? I mean, gone are those days when we have Boy Scout, Girl Scout. I remember they teach you how to make fire uh, if you're alone mm. somewhere, how to get water, all these basic first aid things. But I don't hear of that as, as much anymore. Do you think we have enough of that? And if we don't, how can we bring it back? We do not have enough of that, right? And um, I don't know what they do in Boy Scout and Girl Scout these days, but I know they, they chant a lot. It's about singing songs and solidarity, <laughs> and I, I, there's a lot that happens there. Yeah. Maybe if you say Red Cross, I would say there's some, you know, there's a lot of health education and, yeah. you know, um, first aid skills being passed in Red Cross. But Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, we know what those things are now, okay? So there's not enough going on around that area. So I think that beyond, you know, educating yourself, mm -hmm. basic life support, it should be from primary school, secondary school. We, we do biology, but it's not biology enough. The mm, biology is not no biology, biology mm, at all, yeah. right? So let a, a particular um, was a course, right? Let it be there. This is for basic life support yeah. from secondary from primary schools secondary schools nysc 
it's a good place. We've met, if you've missed it in primary and secondary school, it's a good place to learn that. I mean, to NYSE, we're not taught that. Well, I'm a medical doctor, so I, but NYSE, there's a lot of activities going on yeah. in camps. We are more interested in marching. How where am I marching to? I we mean, are more interested we, in we have, th There are certain subjects in you know schools like home economics, for example, where they teach you basic home skills, how to knit, how to sew, how exactly. to. So why can't we have you know those subjects that they teach basic? It's because we're health not skills. prioritizing healthcare generally in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We are not prioritizing healthcare. I don't want to go into the budget allocation and the supplementary budget. This is not why we're here, <laughs> but healthcare is not being prioritized yeah. in this country. And it's across board. Mm. Health policy, in the policy making, in um, provision of services, in assessing services, even health education, it's not being prioritized. So I think that we need to revamp yeah. you know, the, the educational system, yeah. especially the health topics. For example, of this right, menstrual hygiene. Mm -hmm. It should be something that is properly taught in health education, in schools, well. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, you, you did mention something, Dr. Kells. I, I want us to circle back to you very quickly. Mm -hmm. We're running out of time, but I really, that's also very essential. Um, you talked about how it is almost impossible to have someone you're living with that you're not at least in good terms with. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little about friendship, right? Mm -hmm. That kind of friendship. I mean, I saw that video and I'm like, there's no, no there's way. There's no love here. That, yeah, I'm telling <laughs> no you. No love here. I'm telling you. It, and it's so sad because, I mean, not all friendships are that violent, mm -hmm. but it's so sad that there are certain friendships. I mean, it's a youth-based show, right? A lot of times, there, there's so many youth. I mean, recently, someone was lamenting how her best friend was stolen by another best mm -hmm. friend. Friendship is a very crucial, crucial matter mm -hmm. in our society. What do you think? Think about you know toxic friendships, violent friendships, and the likes. I think that um, nobody should be in any toxic relationship. Something I say all the time: if you are in a toxic relationship, everybody will eventually leave a toxic relationship, whether forcefully or willingly, whether in body bags or mm -hmm. in stitches. But somehow you will leave, and this person, um, let her rest in peace. She has left in the body bag because she stayed in toxic relationship. From that video, you know that this, they fight all the time. That's not the first time people are fighting. Before you carry um, a handful of objects like that to start fighting, you started with verbal abuse. And then people around seem to be used to yeah, it. Yeah, something they're used to. So I think that we should, um, we should analyze our friendships and yeah. just leave the ones that are not good for our mental, our physical health. Because we don't talk enough about the implication of friendships on your mental health and your mental health on friendships yeah so we should take ourselves away from friendships that do not serve us right. and friendships that are detrimental to your physical and your mental health right yeah well dr kelechi okoro aka dr kels aka the health, health attainer that's my favorite <laughs> thank you so much it's been actually very very educative and insight even mm -hmm. i have learned a lot and again thank you for treating me i forgot i had an injury <laughs> Um, well, I mean, you've heard it, right? Please learn these big, basic skills, uh, skills. It's not just by, you know, treating someone who gets stabbed. Someone can be choking around you. Someone can just collapse around you. Know these things so that even if it's not you, it can be someone else around you. Nothing stops you from helping someone in the train station. We don't have to look for doctors when there's an emergency. Anybody can do the work. Thank you so much for joining us on Fafanua Africa. It's been a very insightful YouTube show. And thanks to Dr. Kells for giving us these basic health skills as well. Join us again in our next episode as we will be tackling issues that affect the youth across the African continent. I'm Blessings and it has been Fafanua Africa.